that cool stuff? Yeah. Some uh, already. What do you got in there? This uh, taro. This one? Yeah. This special one. Wasabi. Oh man, you're going wasabi? Yeah. Whoa, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> I like wasabi. <laughs> And where, where the heck? Um, and so, tell me more. You got it under glass. How come? Yeah, because they like a high humidity. Ah. If you open it, the leaf will drop it and it will dry out. I'll be darned. So, wow. keep about 90% the uh, humidity. So, on wasabi, what part of the plant do we use to make the horseradish? Just like uh, carrots. The root. Bottom part. The root. And uh, the temperature, they like a cool, well, so like a 54 to 68. So that's why we're under Fahrenheit. here. Yeah, 54 to 68 degrees. Wow. Yeah, between that, it's the best. Wow. So that's the I need to put it under the tree. I see. So you're cooling it down under yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this first time with wasabi, or you no, done no, this no, before? No, uh, I closed for four, 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 five years already. Did you see that? Oh, be darn. Look at that. That's yeah. pretty cool. And this wasabi, the deep tastes like wasabi too. Hmm. <laughs> That's cool. I'm going to, uh, one of these days, I'll have to you know, get a little bit of root off you, see what I can do with that. Yeah, yeah. That's but interesting. They, every two years, they, the harvest. So it takes two, year, take two, two years, years for a root, huh? Uh, harvest. Oh. That's really interesting. Okay, yeah. so you said 52 to 60... 54 to 68. 54 to 68 degrees, perfect temperature. Yeah. Like uh, just 100% humidity. Yeah. You're growing under gra That's glass. That's the reason I need to put a cobble on me. Yeah. So humidity keep it high so you don't die. Wow. And in two years to get a root from wasabi. Yeah. Now I know why it costs so much when I buy it. Yeah. <laughs> it costs about one hundred dollar to one hundred fifty dollar. Wow. Okay, you're the first guy I've met so far growing wasabi. I've not seen that done. Very interesting. Yeah, you can put a tom like this grass tom, or you can put it in the yeah, it's good. Uh, the fish tank. Fish I, tank. I, sure, uh, the fish tank, but the glass tom. Where the heck did you get that? Was it terrarium Michael. bowl? Michael's, Michael. Michael's craft store, huh? Yeah, yeah. It, and they fit right on top yeah, of those smaller pots. Yeah, the big pot. <laughs> Very nice. See, I, I try, and uh, this number four, I succeed. Mm. I try several times, you fail. That's oh. really I created this kind of environment to make it grow good. You know? Wow. Okay, so this was a trial and error situation, and you yeah. taught yourself how to get yeah. this going. Yeah. I'll be darned. That's the best way to, to figure out how to do something is by yeah. personal experimentation. Yeah. yeah, now I'm trying to try to grow ginseng. Okay, well, gin do. now ginseng. Do. I grow from the do. I'm trying to make it uh -huh. like good, you know. Ginseng is something that I did used to grow back in the Midwest in Wisconsin. Yes, you did. I, I raised ginseng, yeah. yeah. But there it was easier because we had the forest habitat that it really exists in, yeah. in the right soils. And so yeah. under the maple and the mixed hardwood forests, we used to be able to take the seeds of berries off of the ginseng in fall when we dug the root and oh. then plant the berries back into the forest. And after a number of years where I had only a little bit of ginseng in the woods, after a while, I had a lot of ginseng because oh. when I was planting the seeds myself, their success was better mm -hmm. than when nature disseminated them. Yeah. Yeah, and so I, it was actually pretty easy to raise in Wisconsin. That's where so much of it comes from today. Yes, yes. Yeah, in fact, the, the town of Merrill, uh -huh. Merrill and Wausau, Wisconsin is where ginseng comes from. But uh, so you're going to try it yourself, huh? Yeah, and I see what's going on. Maybe you can give me some experience, but. Well, that's a long story on that, but either growing it under the right woodlands or on the farm fields in Wisconsin, um, they have to go into the forest and they have to get uh, the leaf litter from under the trees, and so they actually harvest the forest understory floor, and they drag it out into the farm fields, they spread it, then they plant the ginseng transplants into that. Oh. Then they cover it with shading lath. It's covered with a you know with a shade cloth over the top oh, really? in the fields. Yeah. So because I may have to put this dome on top too. Well, I don't know about the the, the dome, but the shade. The shade. The shade. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. see. I see. The shade. And uh, the one thing they found too is that when they raise it in a farm field, mm. they could only get 
w uh, one crop of ginseng off that soil before they had to go back to corn or cow pasture or something. The soil will not support a second crop of ginseng oh, done that I way. See. You hold fingers and drop the names. You tell the stories about the days. You're over laughing when things ain't funny. You try to sound like you're big money. You know, if talk was criminal, you would at least laugh at crime. Cause your mind is on vacation, your mouth is working overtime. 